bribery kills. Corruption kills. And I would go and explain uh, in some detail the circumstance in, in which you can see the small things of everyday corruption developing into an avalanche. Think for a moment, uh, 25 years ago, we had money set aside in the budget of corporations uh, to pay for bribes. Before this convention, the only rule of the game was to pay bribes to obtain foreign contracts. The change in mentality, the change in the perception, the change in the way we do business is really a quite, quite extraordinary. We've seen how 46 parties to the convention now have anti-bribery laws before the convention. This did not exist. Many members have specialized in prosecution units. Many countries have adopted corporate compliance programs. The OECD anti-bribery convention, as one of the best anti-corruption uh, legal instruments in the world, is an instrument that we should use in Ukraine. With the accession to participant status of Ukraine, Ukraine is recognized the importance of corruption to causing well, one of the causes of the instability in the region that led to the invasion, but also as, the, as one of the important measures to tackle corruption to hopefully allow it to win the peace. We all know that corruption and bribery divert uh, essential resources from vital areas. We would see bribery potentially undermining climate change efforts. And in front of those global challenges, the political world is fragmented and for which we need this international cooperation that the OECD is fostering, that the working group on bribery is fostering and we also need for that a global civil society. For instance we're talking about freedom of expression, the idea therefore that you need a free press in order to be able to investigate properly. The more information is available to investigators, detectives in different countries, uh, the better they can do their job, the more open societies are. Our common objective is to break with the culture of secrecy. If we could make it the norm to whistleblow and to denounce and report uh, corruption, bribery and so on. You know, there's a saying, I probably don't say it correctly, but evil occurs when enough good people don't do anything. Corruption uh, exists in places where there are no set up and clear cut systems of governance, when there is no clear understanding of how we uh, should abide by the rules or not. To a certain extent, in these first 25 years, we've done the easy path. The next 10 years or so is going to be really critical for the working group on bribery. The most important thing is we prevent backsliding. One of the biggest uh, challenges the working group faces in implementing the convention is addressing uh, foreign bribery enforcement. In terms of though how the world is moving, we know that technologies are changing the way we do things. The new emerging technologies, including artificial intelligence, are definitely going to change the game. Artificial intelligence is being used by civil society organizations by Transparency International chapters. We're seeing a lot more foreign bribery cases. We're seeing co governments implement uh, corporate compliance programs. I mean, these are this is the hard bread and butter work that we do. And I think we should be proud when we look back, you know, over the last 25 years, what we've accomplished.